Fuck. God damn check. it. Check. Yeah, I should get a longer Pussy. Check. cord like that. Yeah, dude, because I need to I need to recline, dude. So I guess we got we got two big things that neither of us can talk about. Yeah, my dick yeah. and my balls. Yeah. Huge things. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> There's something we can't talk about. What do you guys think about um, this? This. Uh, well, there's episode. something I can talk about. What? I was disrespected this weekend. Oh yeah, absolutely disrespected Where? this weekend. Outside of a club, outside of a nightclub. <laughs> you were at a club. I went to a club. <laughs> Why? Play, play, players and twinks. <laughs> <laughs> I went to twinks and players. <laughs> it was a, yeah, my idea for a business is uh, basically it's for like you know the low tier players, <laughs> but we invite little skimp ass white dudes also. Mm-hmm. So then they can they you can fought, yeah. they can mog on the 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 twinks mm-hmm. and feel better about themselves right. instead of losing all the pussy mm-hmm. to you know Debo. Oh, and, that's good. Yeah, yeah. So is the idea that they would fuck the twinks or that they would be? Oh no, no, no. it's not a gay club. It's not gay. Got Guys like Adam go there to strike out. I see. But, and the black. <laughs> <laughs> I think the other guys feel better. But in exchange, Adam drinks free. Uh huh. I and drink now, free. Are there any you, women? You drink free if you if you win the smallest dick competition. That's mm-hmm. and you get half of your seventy dollar cover back. That's also. awesome. Yeah, that's good. I like that idea. Yeah. I got Death Stranding, and I like the menu so much. I don't think I'm going to play it. <laughs> it is. It's really pretty. Yeah. I wonder if there's some music that goes along with this. Let's get some some slambiance going. I love Slambiance. 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 <coughs> anyway, I was outside of a, a nightclub. What, literally, what were you doing there? I went to a, I went out to a club with friends. Like for fun. You to were, be a single person to going a to a club. club. To a dance club. <laughs> I wish I had fun. You know, I took ketamine. Because I hear that's what they're doing Who, these days. Who's the crew? Like, what are these? Just I went out with, I'm not going to name the names. I you're going to make fun of me. <laughs> Oh, uh, Shlomo and <laughs> I went with Ari and Ezra. Ephraim <laughs> 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 and <laughs> and Menachem and yeah. Anyway, did you guys get a nice? The little... two of them are leaving. I said there were there were these two girls we were dancing mm. with. I said I'm gonna stay and keep dancing with these ladies, right? Okay. So two I said, but one. I'll I'll walk you so out. Wait a second, there's three of you and there's two women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two girls we know, kind of whatever. I see, okay. I so, see. but I said I want to keep I want to keep dancing. Mm-hmm. I want to keep partying. But I'll walk. I feel like dancing. I'll walk you guys out and I'll I'll again. smoke a cig outside. And, and I'll, I'll, I'll say and goodbye. Get my dick double sucked. I'll say goodbye, and then I'll go back into this uh, into this hellhole club that I'm in that I'm pretending is fun. Where is this? And what? Uh, it's in like East Williamsburg. Okay. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I have a cigarette so in an abandoned warehouse, basically. Kind of a warehouse situation. Mm-hmm. I have a I have an unlit cigarette, no lighter. I see a mm. gentleman, a, a mayo ass, cracker ass, soy boy ass gentleman, mm. you, you look and his a mirror. and his East Asian uh, girlfriend on the side, and he is smoking a bong, cigarette. Bong, 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 right, listen, <laughs> listen. Okay, listen. So I got, I, I have my unlit cigarette. I approached him. I said, "Sorry bong, to, sorry, bong, bong, <laughs> sorry to interrupt." Bong, bong, <laughs> Gong, yeah, babe, let's get out of here. I I approached him. I said, "Yeah, Sorry. this place sucks." She's just fun. Yeah. yeah, this place sucks. <laughs> yeah, he, he's, he's just talking that way. Uh, yeah, no. So I approached him. I said, "Hey, sorry to interrupt. Could I get a light?" Um, I had, you know, I showed them I had a cigarette. Of course, I was you're not a looking for a cig. You just need flame. just the light. And he turns to me. He's like, "Uh, I'm sorry, I don't have a lighter, buddy." And I was like, oh, "Okay, well, could I um." Could I just light my cig off off of your cigarette? And he looks at me and goes, "That won't be happening." Oh my god! So I so I stood there and I was like, I was just froze. I was just shocked. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was just like, what? I was like, what? What? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. I'm not even mad. But I just I just You're would just love to know. Bitch. I would love to know the rationale behind you saying no. Yeah. You cannot light a cigarette off of my cigarette. Mm-hmm. And he he turns to me. He says, "This conversation is over." Oh my god! You so gotta then, fuck that guy up, dude. I'm yeah. sorry. So you then, have to punch so him. then, me and me and uh, so Ari and <laughs> Ari. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying he's friends with uh, you know who. Yeah, huh? yeah. A certain uh, Barista. 
barista <laughs> sisa. Yeah, yeah. Well, no. Wait, I don't. know. Okay, so no. anyway, so Bar- So I'm like, <laughs> so I'm like, all right, fuck this guy. You know, there's some other people smoking a cigarette, yeah. but we're laughing. We're like dying laughing because yeah. it's. Such, I'm not even I'm, mad. I'm laughing. I'm like, this is so weird. Mm-hmm. Why? Why did he do that? What would have been the piece cool move? Like, when go back to your car and then come back with a gun. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that taser thing that Garth has in Wayne's World. <laughs> you so, should have kicked the cigarette out of his mouth. Yeah. So I said, so I said, okay, uh, so we're laughing. And then, like, we're standing in a circle. I'm like, what could it have been? Yeah. Maybe he was getting in an argument with this girl, right? Maybe mm-hmm. he was like, yo, he's just mm-hmm. like, I'm not, I can't, I can't do this right now, you know? Maybe, um, you know, m- maybe he thinks I'm someone else. Mm-hmm. Maybe it was a, yeah. a classic state. He, yeah. Case of a mistaken identity. Maybe he thinks you're right? Adam Friedland from the racist podcast. Yeah. And then, then I said that, and then my friend was like, "You're delusional. No one fucking cares about that." Yeah. And then, um, and then his girlfriend walks up to us. We were about like twenty feet know, away. We're all kind of laughing. Out. Somebody nailed a here. List of- yes, in like within three blocks. Yes, of what people do care of where we are. Basically, I guess yeah. maybe we weren't far from here. Yeah. Um, and she walks up and she said, "She's like." Do you guys really want to know what it was? And I was like, yeah. The Asian girlfriend? Yeah, she was. Okay, say it again. She said, do you really want to know what it was? (laughs) (laughs) And so I said, I said, yes, yes, please. We're all like, we're all trying to figure out what it was. Yeah. I would love to know. And she said, it was your conduct. And I was like, what are we in the military right now? She said, your conduct on the dance floor. (laughs) And I said, Your conduct. And I said, "Would you have your cock out?" I said, "What? What do you? What? What do you mean?" She said, "You guys walked in the club. You were pushing everyone around. You were ruining everyone's night." And I was like, "I'm like, I think you're thinking of different people because I was standing in the back because I do not like to be touched by people on drugs. Of course, yeah. I like to have a little bit of a buffer zone and space around me. I don't like being in the middle of the yeah. dance floor. It makes me uncomfortable, and I suffer from claustrophobia." Mm-hmm. You three. And she said. She said, I don't know. She's like, I don't know you white men anything. While her Ooh. white boyfriend bong, was standing bong, there. Bong, bong, bong. Unbelievable. And so I wish I was there to do the song. Yeah. I would have lit her up with the <laughs> song. I mean, to, to say, I don't owe you white men anything. She said, because, I don't owe you white men because anything. Because her fucking annoying boyfriend wouldn't light your cigarette. Because you were pushing people on a fucking dance floor. So I said to her, I said, do you think there is a possibility that you're thinking of someone else. <laughs> it was dark in there. Mm-hmm. You could have been a thinking lot of, of someone else. Dressed like me. You this clearly is... can't tell the difference between, between white, white people. Between white men. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And she and then she turned to us, and uh, she said, "The only way I keep answering your questions is if no. you pay me." Oh my! And then she walks God. away. And then her boyfriend takes out another cigarette and lights it, and he says, "Have a good night, boys." And then they get in an Uber. Jesus Christ. And hilariously, you were kind of owned by them. No. Yeah. Well, you, so got, you, you got, got completely wrecked. owned by two of the worst fucking biggest How do we get owned? World. I mean, I was just trying to ask you them. You didn't get fire? Mm-hmm. And then you, you're like, and then after they owned you, you went back for a second helping. I, I, they came back to us. We walked away. Well, here's the thing, man. That is... Now I don't condone violence, but this is a yeah. time where you do have to fight that guy. That's that that would be an, <laughs> I, that would be the event where there's finally a video that gets me canceled. Yeah. <laughs> like you got to slap where that happen. guy. I don't know, man. Or at least you don't let him talk to you that way. Yeah. Well, she was talking at the end. I mean, he if he was the only thing he said was like, "No, that won't be happening." And I mean, exactly. this conversation is over. I, two things. And then you just that say, "No person you could should, ever right." You say, just say, ever say to you. "Yeah, you should just say you don't have to be a cunt about it. Yeah, Never yeah. mind." Yeah. And then you walk away. I started exactly. laughing. And then the ball's in his court. Mm-hmm. And if he wants to say anything, you say, "No, you're being a dick." No, shut up, bitch. No, 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 no. When when they walked back to us, we were like, "You guys are at like like." Like, uh, Ezra was just like, you guys are assholes. Like, we were like, mm-hmm. fucking like, we're like, what's your fucking problem right now? Oh, so robbing Ezra of his. No, Ezra himself. was being, he was yeah. asserting. Shout himself. out to Ezra. Shout Did out you? to Ezra, a young king. A young king. And a cum boy. Ezra's actually. 12 years old. Yeah. Yeah. No, he is, he is almost 12 years old. No, he's, he's 24 years old. But, uh, <laughs> I'm saying, I was hanging out with my at Gen a Z. Z. At a fucking dance club. <laughs> <laughs> I was hanging out with my Gen Z. Listen, She's like, guys, listen, you want to know what it really I'm was? This is the year of Adam. I'm trying to reinvent myself. She's like, you know what it really was? I don't like that you're out here molesting these children on this dance floor, sir. <laughs> I can't wait to reinvent myself. I'm ready for my next big fall. Oh, yeah. No, what do you think it is? Oh, I don't know. Something bad will happen. And then, and then I'm coming back. 
Mm-hmm. We should no, just honestly, detached. <laughs> we oh, should. Yeah. Uh, Your problem right now is being too attached. Unhinged. <laughs> we should reinvent ourselves as ketamine guys. That's the new no. drug that I'm evangelizing. Uh, you can be a ketamine guy. How about you, betamine? I'm on board. Oh, Nick, you, we you should betamine? do it sometime. I've been feeling better lately. I finally honestly, got, it made me stop feeling depressed. I finally got all my, all the shirts. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, I went and saw. Oh, it. right, intro is within the same. And I got there kind of late, and I sat in the front row. And then Darren Aronofsky did a Q and A afterwards. Wow. And then he walked up to me and he said, uh, "Do I do I know you?" <laughs> and then I was like, s- like stammering because I was like, like you know, nineteen yeah. years old and like nervous. Uh-huh. And then he just goes, "Oh, you're just a fucking Jew." And then he <laughs> walked away. <laughs> <laughs> is that real? Yeah, <laughs> that's so fucking funny. <laughs> He's Damn. like, do I know you? Were, were you ever at those parties that... What the fuck was that guy's name? He's Brian? like, you're just Jewish, Jeffrey right? Epstein? No, Brian... What was the gay guy, Brian? Brian Singer? Singer. Yeah. 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 Didn't I, didn't do I know I you from those pool parties? <laughs> One is j- my good boy, Bri Bri's pool parties. <laughs> that picture of, like, Kevin Spacey fingering some teen's ass yep. is so funny. Just, like, I have grabbing it and, like, it. Right. biting his ass. Like a morbidly obese person at the drive-thru at Checkers. Yeah, oh, Digging, yeah. Just rifling Absolutely. through the bag. You can see it in his eyes. Just he just starts eating before yeah. he even pulls away. Hello. God Hi, Kat. Would you have sex with Kevin Spacey, Adam? For for 